hello guys welcome to another good video and in this video we are going to do a DHCP spoofing attack so what we're going to do is we are going to spoof um, any of these devices because this device over here is also getting an IP address from the DHCP server this other right here acting as a PC and also this Windows computer is getting an IP address from this server right here which is a DHCP server and what we're going to do is we're going to tell those devices that um, Whenever they re request a, a new IP address, we are going to get that and we are going to reply with a legitimate IP address so we can spoof them and give them an IP address in our range and also we can provide a new default gateway and a new DNS server so that way we can spoof them and hopefully get their credentials. <laughs> Not really, but it's just to show you guys how you could do this. And this is for the CCNA security exam. I have gone over the ARP spoofing, um, Mac spoofing, and also Cam Overflow. If you go to my YouTube channel, um, you can come over here and you can see that I did the um, the Cam Overflow attack, the ARP poisoning attack, and I also described every single one of them in a PowerPoint. And this is, like I said, for my CCNA security certification. And as you can see, I have a lot of CCNA and also CCNA security videos on how to configure any connect SSL VPN and configure attack us and a lot of good stuff so let's go ahead and start with this attack right so let's go ahead and start that in my in the collect Linux computer and if you go to the command line what we're going to use we're going to use ethercap to do this um, attack and the way that you do it is you launch it uh, from the either from the GUI you can just go ahead straight from the GUI and get it there or you can go to the command line and do ethercap and do a capital G right here if it is lowercase g Kali Linux is not going to it's not going to work okay so after that what you want to do you want to sniff and what do you want to sniff you want to sniff unify unify unified sniffing for my interface zero which is the one that is configured or it is the one that is plugged into the network Okay, and then after that, you can go to the main in the middle, this MITM, main in the middle, and then you can do a DHCP spoofing. And we are going to set up our own um, IP pool, which is going to be 172.16.1, let's say that one, that one from 172.168.1.10. That one, that um, the default gateway is going to be or the net mask, which is the um, subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 or slash 24 the DNS server that I want to send to is going to be um, 4.4.4.4 I don't know where that goes and then we're going to click OK and, and as you can see right here that DHCP spoofing and we have created that so what you want to do is let's go ahead to the Windows device because we always want to um, Mets, we, we always want to get somebody from a Windows device. So let's go ahead and open the CMD, which is the command line. And from here, what you want to do is um, what is it? IP release. Can you do a question mark? No. Let's see. Let's go ahead and search that. Um, how to release and renew Windows 10. I forgot how to do it. IP release renew. Is IP config release? Yep, IP config release and IP config renew. So that's what it was. Okay, so I was in the right track. IP config release. IP config renew. And as you can see, since I did that, we can see that we received a packet. So we got a discover right here. So what happened is. Even though it did not work, we, it requested this IP address. So we, I guess we gave them that IP address. So let's see if it worked. Um, still the default gateway is the same. So let's see if we do a IP config. Oh, so it is still getting the same um, IP address from the DHCP server. Let's try one more time, release. Renew. So 
um, DHCP spoofing fake act. So now you can see that we did get it this time. So we assign it this IP address, but you can see that the default gateway changed. So now it is being spoofed because the DHCP we send them the DHCP that, that we send them. We actually gave him this IP address because he wanted that IP address because it was an IP address that he used to um, use before, and that's what happens bef um, sometimes when um, a Windows computer requests an IP address. It, it sends one that it used to have before. So if that one is not in use, then we send it that. So that's what happened here. So we send him that IP address that the Windows um, device actually requested. But then we change the um, the default gateway. So now the default gateway is our Kali Linux computer. So what's going to happen is that we are going to receive all the traffic that the Windows computer um, tried to send. Let's see an IP config all and see if the DNS also changed. Yep, as you can see right here, the DNS server that we provided, um, it actually configured over here. So that is great. It's actually working there. So let's see if we can do it from this um, from this router too. Let's go ahead config T and let's go ahead to actually let's open it right here and let's move the Kali Linux computer over here too and see if we can get it from here. Interface gigabit zero zero and let's just shut it down. I don't know why it's taking so long. So we, what we're going to do, shut down and then do no shutdown. Okay, so now let's see if we received anything. And it looked like we did. I did not see that. Yep. As you can see right here, the IP address now that it's getting is an IP address on 172.16.1.3. If we do a n show run. So you can see that it is spoofing. If you go to the interface, we are doing a DHCP address. Let's see if we can find the DNS. You can see the default gateway. Um, this one, it is still there because I manually configured that. And that's why it is still there. But if we do, um, let's just leave it like that. So let's do a show IP interface brief. And you can see that IP address that it received was the one that we sent from the um, Kali Linux computer. So we are spoofing this router over here and we also spoof this Windows device right here. So if we go ahead and do a, let's go ahead and open our Windows device. If we go ahead and, let's go ahead and start a capture with Wireshark. So we can see what's going on over there, right? And where's Wireshark? Let's go ahead and open it. Start wire chart, okay. So from here, let's go ahead to the Windows computer and do a ping to a continuous ping to four that four that four. And what's going to happen is that traffic is going to be sent to um, this interface right here. If Wireshark loads, come on. Let's go ahead and just stop it and start this again. And tell it to start Wireshark. So Wireshark seems to now like it's not working for me right now. It should be working. I don't know why it's not working. There we go. Finding local interfaces. Okay, it is moving. It is just moving slow for some reason. Come on, you can do it. Okay, it looks like it doesn't want to start. But what you want to do is you want to stop this um, attack in your um, in your local network. So, and the way to do that is by um, enabling IP DHCP snooping in your switch. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to enable that and then all the interfaces are going to be, hmm, there we go. So, okay, so it did start. So let's go ahead and go to the Windows computer again. 
and let's go ahead and ping for the for the four. There we go. So now um, the data is going to come um, to the Kali Linux computer. So anything that we send to any traffic that we send now is going to be um, is going to go through the Kali Linux computer. Um, I don't know why it's not working. It should be working. We should be receiving traffic from this computer. But like I said before. Um, all the traffic now is going to go to the Kalinos computer because it is the default um, gateway. So what's going to happen is that like all the traffic is going to go to the Kalinos computer and we're going to be able to see all the traffic and also if let's say um, this person on this computer wants to go to like a bank um, website, to their banking website, what's going to happen is we can redirect to another um, website that is on our own website and they are going to enter their username and password and we are going to be able to steal their credentials and their bank account and also the money is going to be all gone because we're going to steal it so what you want to do is you want to stop these attacks in your network because you don't want to um you don't want to you don't want a hacker to just come to your network and plug into a switch and perform this attack so what you want to do is just stop that and like i said you can stop that by doing a um at DHCP snooping. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and enable it. And hmm, I, I guess I forgot to let's go ahead and do a config G. Actually, let's do a show run and see. I think I forgot to stop something or to delete something. Yes, yeah, so I forgot to because I did on a video before a IP ARP video. So let's go ahead and do config t and then if you do config t do no and we are going to deny um well not deny we are just going to disable that because we're not going to be um using it so there you go no ip arp inspection so that's good so now what you want to do is stop this dhcp um attack in your network and the way that you could do that is by enabling enabling um dhcp snooping and the way that you do that is by going IP, DHCP, snooping, and if you want to do it globally, you can go ahead and just press enter, or if you want to do it on a VLAN, you can also go ahead and do it on a VLAN 1, right? So what that's going to do is going to stop that Linux machine from becoming the DHCP server, because the DHCP server is actually this one right here. So after that, what you want to do is go ahead to interface gigabit 02, and you want to do a IP, DHCP, snooping and we are going to trust this interface this is this, this one is going to be the only interface that is going to be trusted therefore whenever this Linux tries to send a tries to respond to a um, DHCP request that the switch is going to stop it so let's go ahead and try to go ahead and go um, to the Windows device And from the Windows device, let's go ahead and do a. Let's go ahead and actually end this, and do a IP config release and IP config renew. Oops, renew. So it's, it's going to try to get a another IP address, and let's see what happens over here. All right, let's go ahead to the Kali Linux computer. And where's Ethercap? Um, let's try to. It looks like it stopped. Looks like it is stuck over here. Let's go ahead and do a CMD again. IP config. Uh, we do not have an IP address yet, so I believe let's go ahead and go to the switch. And from the switch, let's go ahead and config T. And from config T, let's go ahead to interface. And it's going to be the interface gigabit 03 of the Windows device. And let's go ahead and just trust that too and see if that works. 
IP, the SCP, snooping, trust. And let's see what happened to the renew. The renew is still going on. Let's go ahead and just stop that. Do an IP config, renew. There we go. And as you can see now, it is actually working because we are stopping those um, DHCP packets. And I believe if you want to do this, you want to do a show IP, um, DHCP, snooping. And as you can see that we have trusted Gigabit 02 and also Gigabit 03. And we have not trusted the one going to the Kali Linux. So now this Kali Linux computer um, is not able to send a DHCP packet response to the Windows device. And if we do IP config, oh, you're going to see that the DNS service 8.8.8, .8, which is the one coming from here. And let's go ahead and try to get another IP address from this server, from this router. So if we go to show IP interface brief, you're going to see that we have a 172.16.1.3. So what we want to do, let's go to um, gigabit zero slash zero. And from there, we are going to do a, um, actually, we're going to shut it down and then we're going to do no shutdown. Come on, now you can do it. Let's do a no shutdown. There we go. And let's go ahead and save this configuration. And let's see what's the IP address that we're going to get now. doesn't have anything assigned to it so let's go ahead and go to the switch config t interface gigabit zero slash one which is the one plug into um, this router right here and do DHCP snooping trust let's go ahead and go back over here so IP interface brief and you can see now that we have received a um, IP address from the actual DHCP server because we have a 192.168.1.2 and, and we did not get the one from Kali Linux we could, because it was from 172.16.1.1 from 172.16.1.5 so we did not get that 172 IP address we got that 192.168.1.2 IP address which is from the actual DHCP server and that's how you can perform a DHCP spoofing attack and also that's how you are able to um, fight that DHCP spoofing attack by enabling IP DHCP snooping. So thank you guys for watching. And if you guys do have a Twitter account, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter at, go ahead and see if I can find my Twitter name. There we go. You can go ahead and follow me at CCNA Dealer Tips if you have a Twitter account. And if you don't have a Twitter account, hey, go ahead and create one and then follow me on Twitter at CCNA Dealer Tips. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.